I've got such an exciting story to share with you today. Um, one of the things that gets me so encouraged in my faith and just supercharges my faith is hearing testimonies of God's working in various situations um, all across the world in different settings. And that's why I love Christian biographies and uh, I love just hearing different accounts of, of God moving um, through individuals or in entire regions and countries. Um, so what I've got here today is actually um, a, an account that has been relayed um, through my church. There's a missionary couple that the church supports that were active in the, um, the Viha region in northern India. And I have some amazing, amazing testimonies to share with you. Um, I've got here that this couple had returned to Melbourne a year and a half ago with their church planning efforts yielding a huge harvest among the outcasts of society. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to read the letter that we were sent as a church um, from this couple, word for word, and then just offer a few thoughts after that. So they write this, During our time in Viha, North India, we travelled into many villages and often did trips to the Bodh Gaya, visiting Buddha's shrine in the city of Bodh Gaya, where Buddha was understood to have received his enlightenment, and his followers believe that. Um, every visit we would circle the shrine and pray that God would do a miracle in the villages around us. We often prayed that the temple would be shut down and that house churches would spring up around it. Did we believe that our prayers would be answered? Richard, our head office, HDE ministry coordinator in Vihar, has recently described that thousands of people have abandoned their idols and are now worshipping Jesus. In some cases, the entire village has become Christians. Men and women alike are openly testifying before the media that they are following Jesus because the idols don't have power. But when they pray to Jesus, he hears their cries and heals their sicknesses and diseases. Richard, the ministry coordinator, wrote this. It is beyond our imagination what God is doing in the Gaia district. We see the mob accepting Jesus Christ. A flood of people are coming to Christ. Idols are being thrown into the river from houses of those who have accepted Jesus Christ. We see great revival. The Buddha temple, it's closed. Temples and villages are being surrounded by house churches. Village house churches and trainees are erupting like hydrogen bombs. This has only happened due to the continued HDE training and your support, which you have given us by your leadership and prayers. It's breaking news on national TV in India that thousands of people have accepted Jesus Christ. Lots of queries are being made to, by the media to find the reasons behind it. Please pray that we will reach every village in the Gaia district. Thank you. Amazing. I, I heard that story at church and I was just so encouraged. And I knew straight away that I had to share this. Just this, this, this personal testimony of someone that have reported of what has been happening in the village. I know that so often in, in our own Christian walks, we can think that, you know, think things aren't really happening around us. People aren't coming to Christ as we want them to. And we can, we can limit the movement of God, of what he can do in his spirit, of what's possible. But when we hear these testimonies, I don't know what they do to you, but to me, they just increase my faith because I can see that there are moves of God that are taking place all across the world that we just don't know about. And one thing that I love in, in particular regions like this and in countries like this, people are really receptive to the good news of Jesus Christ. They're so comfortable here in the West that people don't see their need. Sin here is, is, is just painted in, in, in such a wrong way where, where right is wrong and wrong is right that people 
are just so blind to the realities of their own sinful state and are also so blind to spiritual realities. Isn't it amazing? We call countries like this, Australia, America, you know, the developed world. Uh, we think we're so wise. We think we're so great because of technological advancements, because of uh, scientific discoveries. But all the while, God brings to shame the wise people and he raises up the humble. And these people here in these parts of India, in, in, in countries in Africa, in a number of um, third world countries across the world also, we see that people are more in tune with the spiritual realities. And they don't have these temporal things to distract them. Their hearts are yearning for the true realities of God, true spiritual fulfillment for the soul. So I just wanted to encourage you. There are people out there, individuals, we can be discouraged by what's happening in society, but there are also individuals here that are hungry and waiting to hear the truth of Jesus Christ. The only message that can bring salvation and satisfy the human soul. So I just want to say, friends, be faithful and be encouraged because there are so many people that you personally can reach one on one. And when you hear a testimony like this of the impossible happening, we know that the same God that is moving over there in Vihar, India, is the same God that we worship here in the West. So friends, keep praying, keep believing. Let's not limit God. And uh, let's see what God's going to do through us when we believe. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us. To him be glory. Amen.